hello there welcome to our youtube channel so in this video we are going to learn how to import shape files into our postgres database so to do that we will go to our start menu then we will search for postgres so we type postgres to this popup then we will have to click on it so you come to view connection details then you are being asked for your username your password the server hosts the ports and the database name so to get this um let's first of all go to our pg admin our postgres sql db to create a new database to import our shape for so i'll create a database and i'll give it a name your spatial special db i just copy this name i don't need it then i'll save it to create the database then we'll right click on the database that we just created then come to create then extension so when you come to the extension you select the name of the extension that is post gist so you see then We have our Postgres extension added to our database. So we now can now go back to our Postgres bundle dialog to go ahead with the importation of the ship files. So I will add my the, the username to my database that's Postgres. Then my password into it our local server host is local host because the database is sitting on my machine and this is the port open to that database and we have um, the database name that is our geospatial underscore db which we created so, click. so we will now add our ship files to our dialog box click on add file to open the dialog box, then we'll have to navigate to where our shape file is located. So we'll come to the drive C. Okay, so I would like to import these two shape files, the region shape file and the places shape file. So in order to select both shape files, you have to hold your control key and select all the shape files you would like to upload. So after selection, you click on open and it will be added to the panel here. And one thing you have to note, uh, notice here, you have the SRID and you should know the SRID of your shape file that you are importing into the database. That's also like special reference. So with my data that I'm uploading, the SRID is 4326. That's true. <laughs> then the table. So these table names, um, the names here will be used in creating the tables in the database. So if you want to alter it, you can also do that here. But for the purpose of this illustration, we are going to keep it as, as it is. So when we are done with that, you just have to click on import. Then your shape file is being imported into your DB. So let's go back to our post GraceSQL database and see what has happened there. So you just after importing, you just have to come to the special DB. That's our database we created. And right click on it and click on refresh to get the 
for the data uh, in there. So you can see when you come to tables, we have our places and our regions there. So let's check if the software didn't just create an empty tables for us. So I'll just open it. Okay, so you can see we have our data reflecting in the table. Let's visualize it to see what we actually imported. So you can do that by clicking on the eye icon on the geometry field. So you can see our data reflecting in our DB. So these are the points that we imported into our database. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you again in our next video. So in the next video, I'm going to um, create a video to um, show you how to import shape files from your QGIS into your database. And we'll be using the same data sets. So stay tuned. See you again.